I love Netflix. Chief reason of all, they brought Blockbuster to its knees. <laughs> Rot in hell, Blockbuster. Rot in hell. Rot in hell, Blockbuster. With your outrageous late fees, your surly sales staff, and your criminally loose definition of new releases. <laughs> Why is this a new release? Because it's in color? It's Braveheart, God <laughs> it. I didn't even know Mel Gibson hated Jews when this movie came out. <laughs> Hate Blockbuster. Love to see a Blockbuster that went out of business. It, make, it warms my heart. I drive by. You can always tell which store used to be a Blockbuster because it's empty and they've taken the sign down, but it still spells out Blockbuster in filth. <laughs> they didn't save enough money to power wash the grime that was behind the sign, so it still says, and it's so appropriate. Ugh, rotten hell. First of all, how did they go out of business with my $60,000 in late fees? <laughs> Would you gamble it away? I hate them. I hate them. Oh, they were, they were such hypocrites. They, were, they wouldn't rent you porn, but they would rape you with late fees. <laughs> they had no problem sodomizing you with late fees. And I can remember bringing in a movie and, and just being like so embarrassed. Like, I, you know, I was like, ah, oh, it's been a while. What do I owe you? And the, the little jerk, he was like, uh, oh no, that's all set. It's like, really? Yeah, keep it. some sort of amnesty declared or something like that? I, I, you want me to keep this? Oh yeah, yeah, we already charged $88 to your <laughs> visa. You own New Jack City for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah. A movie that you couldn't bring yourself to watch in six weeks. Every time you move, you're gonna have to pack up and that'll be a reminder as to what an irresponsible loser you are. <laughs> yeah, you own New Jack City on VHS for the rest of your life. <laughs> I feel that Netflix is, I feel that it was the red envelope that is Netflix that brought Blockbuster to its knees. Netflix I love, but only instant. I don't really want the discs in the envelope anymore. I don't, I don't wanna, you know what I mean? I don't wanna go all the way to the mailbox, <laughs> open up an envelope, take a, take a disc out of the sleeve, open up my DVD player, put the disc in there, change the source on the TV. What am I, a migrant farm worker? <laughs> I, I didn't come here to pick peaches. I just want to watch Total Recall. <laughs> My goodness, I love Netflix. Although it is, it does cause me a great deal of anxiety because I feel like I should always be watching movies because the more movies you watch, the less it costs per movie. There's like that buffet mentality. You know how when you go to a buffet, you figure out how much it costs, and then you're like, all right, all right, I'm not losing to the buffet this time. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna beat the buffet. Because the more movies you watch, the less money it costs per movie. So in this economy, if you're not watching a movie, you're losing money. I have like 236 movies on my, on my queue, and I feel like I should always be watching movies. Like if I wake up in the middle of the night and I don't fall directly back to sleep, I'm like, oh, what, I've been up for an hour and a half. I could have I watched Toy Story 3 by now. This is, this, in this economy, it is a sin to not be watching a movie when you have Netflix. And, and I just keep adding more and more movies, and I don't watch enough of them because so many of them are, are uh, depressing documentaries. And that's my fault because I gave Food Inc. five stars. Yeah.